Okay. Okay, this is the uh, window winder mechanism for the fear line. And uh, I've just repaired it. I had this broke, it broke the wheel and it also broke the cable holder. This is a part of the cable holder. And uh, yeah, so I've but it did break, so I've got a spare set of doors. I went and got the the spare out of the out of the other door, and uh, that being an original one, these here are riveted on. You've got to drill the rivets out, and this is already an aftermarket one because it's got threaded threaded bolts in it. But yeah, if you fix an original one, you'll have to devise a way to put bolts in it. What I've done. Um, so yeah, oh, I'll backtrack for a sec. Yeah, I put took the one out of the spare door, I put it in, wound it down, wound it up, and then it broke as well. Then it broke the wheel. And, uh, yeah, that did actually have a metal piece that held the cable, but I haven't repaired that one because the motor's a bit weak in that one this has got a stronger motor so well, I've repaired this one and I'll probably repair the other one anyway because you still got plastic parts down the brake bottom here so I'll repair the other one as well so if it breaks again I've got a spare ready to go so what I did is I got a large washer I welded a cable hose a push bike cable hose off a brake part an old one an old middle one and the wheel here this is a wheel for a um, sliding door which you can get from Bunnings cost ten dollars um, it's got its own sealed roll bearing in it which is a good thing because I can tighten the bolt up through the middle of it um, you get to actually see I oh know I've got clearance on that. that. That's okay, but with a, I've got clearance for the the bolt and nut on the back, so hopefully that'll be okay. I will cut the excess off. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that nut off it too and put some Loctite on there before I do it. Uh, and then I'll cut the excess off the bolt. Um, what I did notice too when I tested it is these screws will come loose. I'm going to put some Loctite on them as well. If you're going to repair this, the other issue you have is that when it breaks, all these cables come out of their tracks and you know, they get bent and everything. This cable's not that crush out actually, but it's not actually broken anywhere. None of the strands are broken even though they're twisted, so hopefully they will be okay. But yeah, you have to feed them back into their tracks, and which actually involves yeah, hooking it up to the power and turning it, because you can't turn it by hand, and pulling on the cables until they're all running in their proper tracks. Uh, like I said, I have tested it. Um, I found this wheel is actually a little bit wider. And this did catch on the wheel when it came right up. Uh, I haven't actually tested it in the door, so I'm hoping that... Um, yeah, because that's the up position where it, the window actually closes before it gets to that. So I'm hoping that is not going to be an issue. And, uh, yeah, you can buy those new... <laughs> Yeah, I've got a lot of expenses at the moment. I'm still trying to buy things for this, and I've, I've got to get the transmission looked at again. In the fair lane, and I've got playing the diff, and I've got a motorcycle that's sitting there that needs a thousand dollars spent on it, so I really don't want to spend money on things like this. So, yeah, if I can get away with spending ten dollars to fix it up, I'll be happy with that. So, anyway. Just wanted to put a few pointers on it and what actually goes wrong with these things. Um, 
So the other thing too is that these cables, they've got this plastic piece which fits on the outer cable. And as you can see, it's actually pushed up quite a way. So the spring part on this isn't actually even working because the cable, the inner cable is into this other piece as far as it can go. This side's working, so hopefully that's enough. Yeah. To prevent the shock break and anything. So, because that, yeah, when it comes to a sudden stop, that's what that's for. Those springs is so, to absorb the shock. Anyway, as I said, nothing's impossible if you put your mind to it. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, it's better than original. It's got one less plastic part anyway. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, watching and listening to my ramble. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like, guys.